right, here we go. Back again. Um, we're about to go ahead and fight some nightmares. And it looks like they're going to be in this tower. So this is going to be interesting. Ugh, the air's so dry. Oh, now that's interesting. It looks like either A, you can't go in here, or B, there's some type of enemy that prevents it. Yeah, I guess I'm not, either I'm not strong enough to go in. Yeah, the sandstorm, or well, really not even sandstorm, but the nightmare storm basically makes it impossible to go in there. Seems to be free of any immediate danger. Here's hoping it stays there. And there's nothing else that's strong enough, it looks like, to dare even venture into this location, too. So as we can see, there are a lot of chests in this area. I'm going to mark these, and we're going to head in that direction after we take care of the ones to the right. So I'm going to go this way. I can't even see anything really due to, again, the storm itself. Exploit your enemies oh, there we go. Week. Have you finally gone full bad guy? I mean, we may as we might as well just sit there and get some of the uh, I don't like the look of this. Some of the XP that's here. <laughs> I Let knew that that one would be coming in for the fight. All right, nice. So I would heavily suggest in situations like that, get there in the center, <laughs> um, use the terrain to your advantage. Set up Disperse, and let Disperse kind of get the job done. It's obviously possible to fight birds without using Disperse, but Disperse makes your life easy. And I mean, who doesn't want easy, right? All right. Let's go over here. Okay, so I do not currently have the ability to fight them with other techniques, but this is one of those moments where scatter shot makes it simple. Now, what I did there, I actually did use a dodge. Um, that wasn't just, of course, some type of magical parkour, her doing that by herself. That was me timing that that jump where I waited until the last possible second as he was zooming in to then dodge up and then that way I wouldn't also fly totally off of the mount. So let's go ahead. We'll pick up this mana. I mean again, like look at the amount of mana here. And this is literally just run and collect. Just run and collect. There's more that way. Can't see me. Can't see me. What's that? Oh, Mylodon. And to see if you like, so, just don't get yourself killed. My abilities do not work that well on him. We're going to gotcha. find him first so that we can at least put some damage down. This will do it. We'll put that down there so that that way when he comes this way, That's he'll at least take much. a bit of damage. Whoa, he just literally jumped over our bomb. So I activated stone screen so that that way we have some resistance to damage for when he attacks us. 
And because of the sheer strength of this enemy, I'm gonna make sure that we're kind of protected. Uh, let's use implant. So of course I am using my terrain to my advantage here. That's it. You do not have time to use very strong attacks in a situation like this. Like that. Come on. So again, using the terrain to your advantage. There's a reason that Prey is so mobile. So take everything that you have and use that terrain. It's there for a reason. Whoops. Now see, that's me actually messing up there. All right. Nope. All right. Let him burn himself out a bit. Got you on your toes now. All right. This ought to be good. If we can pin him. Here he comes. <clears throat> Nope. I'm getting to be one tough customer. Okay. I'd say you could probably I was wondering if I had made him real for a second and then he was gonna come back around for more. Alright. So we played that one pretty well. Once we actually have Are you hoping for a little exercise? Attacks that can do damage really will be able to really be able to get them down a lot faster. Again, Mylodons are more for fire magic, right? For this? Oh. Ah. Ooh, that's now, again, the thing about the Syntheras, you got to make sure that they cannot get close to you. Do not give them an opportunity Boy. to close the distance on you whatsoever. Pocket this. Ooh, what is that? A Stego Treatus. That's a stronger enemy. Um, and it looks as if there's a chest right next with. to it. So I'ma go ahead and give it a shot. This one certainly stands out from the crowd. I do not know what its attack style is. Oh wait, never mind. I think I have fought this thing before. There we go. This is gonna be an old coin style chest. Let's give it a look and see exactly how's the best way to do it. So there's a few different ways that you could do this one. Um, let's move this here, that there, and then there we go. I just keep getting better. No possible way. All right. Ooh, nice. Fun. So that's a lead and bloom. That was a rare item. Before we go too far over, kind of get the inclination like I should do these and then get to that refuge. But we're already over this way. So let's do it this way instead. I'm going to do these three chests. 
do the photo op. Let's zoom in a bit so that I'm actually able to better control this. And then, I don't know, this photo op may not be possible. That's from above the cliff, so we can't do that one. And let's get to this bell free. Then we'll kind of go like that. All right, so let's see. That means I think that we need to go above this, which should be not that difficult, really. Okay, pretty simple, honestly. Looks like more of those cat creatures. We'll kill them in a second. Well, this place is fun. There's nothing here but rocks. Look at that rock. It's time we intended her realm to be unforgiving and respect. Sound of our height. And I would so much think to be right. You're gonna love this! Get off of me. So that's the moment where you switch to not having the uh, the lock on enabled because you need to be able to actually see the enemies in question. We're gonna take a second to let our stamina come back. There we go. Climb up here. Yeah. All right, right here. And if I can get enough of a move, there we go. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit tougher. I need a lot of stamina be able to pull that one. Let's go to the side here. So that crevice we should be able to get to. And we'll use that one as a foothold. Again, normally you would actually use the zip to get up here. Alright. We'll just move that. And we're in. What do we got here? Probably just more old coins, which is exactly what it turned out to be. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier to get down. Let's go ahead and go this way. There we go. A little bit of a damage, like a, of a stamina hit, but we didn't take any actual damage, so that's the important part, right? All right, how do we want to do this? Let's put that down. Then kind of lock them in. You bet it did. That asshole's going nowhere. Got him. And then we'll just take all three of them out. Again. The power like of enemy placement. Let's not get careless. All right. Open this. Diurnite. Cool. All right. We're not going to get those chests right now. We can always come back and do that. Man, this battlefield is huge. Okay. Let me come out a little bit. I just want to see... Yeah, so this is literally going in a totally different direction. I don't want us to do that yet, because we can always hit that area from this direction, too. We're going to curve back in 
go to three and five, and then we'll take this section. Because I still want us to get to Silas eventually, because Zip is going to make things way easier for us, right? So I shouldn't be taking us 500 miles across the map. I think that's the Mylodon we fought earlier. We're going to skip him now. They can't see me. They can't see me. I might as well take care of them at this point. Oh, damn. All right. Bird had some nice dodging capability. Oh. Okay. I made a mistake. All right. Ooh. Help myself out here. Looks like we're done here. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, any damage I took there was all my fault. I presumed that there were that there weren't any enemies around and just ran in. And of course, that can set you up to really get yourself killed if you're not um, not really really careful. So let's go ahead. We'll go up this way. This time, I have done my check. I do know that these enemies are here. The problem is, there's so many of them at once. Let me go ahead and do stone screen just in case. So yeah, stone screen, if you don't have disperse ready in time to fight enemies, stone screen is a lifesaver. Because again, the birds are probably more dangerous than pretty much any of the other enemies because fight. They can advance a lot faster. Their attacks can come from many angles. You just have to be really careful. Okay, this one's straightforward. I think that does it. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay. Now let's go to five. Again, we're not going to stop for the other chest. We're just going to go straight to this belfry. Okay, I don't see anything, but let's do a bit of that hop skip just to be certain that our we don't get attacked on our way. Nice. So this tells us what all is in the direction. This is this is pretty much our main mission, but now we have a bunch of different things up here. And I believe that once you do that, yeah, that extension, kind of like that, that opening of the map stays. So that's a really good feature. All right. With that said, let's go. We're going to do a beeline um, from here across to the refuge. Because we might as well get some more spellcraft challenges out of the way. So this is, of course, going to have some birds. Gotcha. Does that make things a little easier? More than a little. Oh, never mind. That's going to take us too far out of the way. We'll pick up this um, item. It's not drop here. open this chest let's look at our magic and see what we have here I would say let's go ahead and unlock modify unlock rarify 
and then we just have to do shield shot level one and level two and then we should have all of Frey's basic abilities unlocked that can be unlocked through normal means. I see a ton, I mean an absolute swarm of zombies over this way. So that is good to know. We will not do that yet. I'm going to resist the urge to do that because we're going to go ahead and get this uh, refuge done over here. That gives us our health back. Bullseye. Get out of the way. That kind of magic requires more range. All right. I kind of guessed that already. That's just firewood. Rainstone. There's no one around. Did you do something to annoy the man? Let's what get didn't I do? over here. So there's a lot that we can do in here right now. First, hey, oh. that cat. Did it tail us here? Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, little guy. Well, there we go. We have a new cat. Yeah, you like that, don't you? All right. Let's look at what we have in here. Dreaming of a new life. Yeah, I can sympathize with that. A heady mix of hope and anxiety. It's never easy upping. All right, we'll add that. Add those two Sticks to our map. Are moving. I can make something oh, seriously and good a nugget. with it. That's nice. Okay. So let's get these spellcraft challenges done, right? So a few that we can get done immediately. We can do both of these, I think, right here before we even leave. Actually, we can potentially do all of these right now, but I don't know. It'll depend on whether we have enough resources. All right, let's do this. So see, it says here that the that the blooms and the clusters can be uh, crafted and upgraded. So what we're going to do here, just come in and craft a cluster. Let's just try it. So that's crafting fervent cluster, right? So see, that's modify right there. So all we have to do is see how many of these we need. And then we just pretty much get done as many of them as necessary. All right. Do the same thing over here for Fervid. Nice. And her saying nice should mean that, yep, we fulfilled it. So we can literally go in right now. And modify is done. That spellcraft challenge is completely done with. And that also, of course, again, increases the strength of our magic. You're now, let's on the uptake, do know. this again. And now we should be able to craft garlands. We won't be in crafting, crafting garlands immediately, though. We'll work on blooms because blooms are easier to do. We're going to try our best, though, to not use up all our resources. Not bad if I do say so myself. There we go. We heard her say the not bad part, so we're good to go on that one. So that's both rarify and modify done. 
Now we can go Onward back and in upward. and we can work on the necklace now. So now you have pretty much all of your different things that you can craft in here, I believe, are now available. We're going to increase our medicine pouch, craft another healing draught, then we'll switch over to upgrade. Now this should allow us to increase health um, on here as well. Something that to be is that should be noted. These are the starting abilities, right? Or the or not the starting, but some of our pre-order stuff. I will definitely be going back and changing these out because eventually, so with any of the normal cloaks, you can change their first abilities. You can change these. At least from what I can tell with the pre-order, unless something is not is unless I'm I'm missing something, I cannot change their first ability. Pre-order items are just set. And eventually that means that this will become an item that is obsolete in certain ways. But so let's go ahead and um We have not gotten yet A cloak that I think I would like to make more important than the others or have we honestly Valorous may get my attention Pellerine also has a nice uh, health ratio too It's just that its defense stat can't be improved. But see, now I can improve health. So honestly, Valorous is better right now. So we're going to go with Valorous. And we'll go ahead and also do equipment effects. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this one up the way I would love for it to be set up. So we have enough to very easily kind of get this one really nice. First, let's check our necklaces. I'll definitely be using this necklace first and we'll eventually change it up some. Um, yeah, we'll still keep the PlayStation necklace for now. So I think I want to keep auto heal. Oh, okay, this one already has auto heal effect triggered, so we won't worry about that. We'll copy some of these critical hits, boost attack, restore health. All right. Attack boosted when a healing item is used. So that's the one where I'm not sure if we want to keep that one. Or honestly, I think I might go with critical hits can boost defense because I get so many critical hits half the time that honestly, that's probably the more useful um, item set. And then let's look at our actual spellcraft challenge. Our spellcraft challenge is to improve a necklace's health boost by 50. So let's give it a shot because at that point it'll have better stats than the no limits one. Okay. So it looks like we still may have a bit of a problem in terms of boosting that one all the way. It is huh. what it is, I guess. So here's the way that we're going to do that. We're going to keep the spellcraft challenge active. Because if we don't keep it active, we'll lose it. So instead, we'll move on to other ones that we can do that won't take us too long. We'll, base, we'll pretty much work around it. We can go ahead and do this one. And this one while fighting the zombie horde very easily. 
Hmm. Let's see how. This and let me see how much magic I have. I don't have enough yet to level up the other two. So we'll go with this for now. And once we get outside, we'll go in the direction of number one. Because number one has, of course, that zombie horde. Right? There we go. Lots of zombies. So we'll want to move to shield shot. And I believe the other one was implant, right? So for implant, implant's wow. really simple. You just use it to the attack the enemy. And with this one, we gotta knock people down with shield Do shot. Sorry. See, like that. We have to make sure, though, that what you get hit by is a normal attack. If you do not get hit with a normal attack and you instead get hit with basically one of the big bang attacks where they run at you, then we're going to take a ton of damage. So we got to make sure that whatever attack that is misses. Then we can follow up with our own attack. So dodge that, but then let them hit with a normal attack. That's 13. So again, making sure that we keep them at our back is really important here. And that I ensure that I can dodge out if I need to. So see, there we took a bit of damage. Because right as the, uh, the shield boost broke, we basically got attacked in the same token. So again, Crazy Horde that we're fighting here. All right, let them come in. That's 20. As long as we don't get hit by a big banger, we should be fine. All right, that's 23. I can also probably just get my health back from a killer blow. So there we go. We're good now. So shield shot is done. Now let's go ahead and focus on implant. And I'm also going to change from this nice to uh, to scatter shot. So this is really easy at this point. All I'm gonna need to do is just pelt some enemies. That kind of magic requires more range. Kind of guessed that already. You're gonna love this. And just let them get hit. Stamina, gotta wait. Yeah. Let's use burst shot. Oh, 
That's nine. I can go ahead and thin these guys a bit. So let me set up. There we go. And then we can go ahead and clean up the stragglers. Whoa, that was a lot. There we go. Well, it seems to be over now. Seems to be very reassuring. Ooh, gross. All right, so that was pretty straightforward. And now we can go in here and mark this one is done. We don't have enough yet for shield shot two or three um so once we can get enough mana we'll get those and then we have leech and screen we need to do the uh the spellcraft challenges for them and then of course for genesis That'll level one handy. level two so i almost missed the commotion we can go ahead well. and pick up the mana up here believe me you're plenty of commotion all by yourself this will be enough mana for shield shot level 2. Maybe not for level 3 yet. We'll need to do a little bit more for that, but close. Um, also, I can see where we might be able to level up the spellcraft challenges for Genesis level 1. Because we do need to go ahead and increase the power of our surge magic. So I'm thinking I may do that now, and then we'll slowly uh, advance upon some of these others. So let's go over to the refuge. We'll use the instantaneous fast travel. That really was miraculously fast. Yep, yeah, it was. All right, so let's go in here. You do like your reading. And let's go ahead and pick up level one. Oh, right. So you can actually learn the ability here first in here if you have enough mana. And then after that, you can apply the, uh, the spellcraft challenge as well. So with this one, this one's more about beating the enemies when they actually get hit with shield shot level two. Time to work on that spell then. This is one that is also very good with a horde, but Genesis level one is actually the opposite where um, we'll need enemies that are weak to phrase magic. I think what I would suggest here, let's mark these up and we'll go ahead and start working on hitting their respective chests. Man, we have a lot to actually hit. Let's hit all of these sections because we can always come back to this fast travel marker over here. So, we'll go this way first. 
Let me make sure Any not to miss any moving. mana. Got it in one. Yeah. Oh. All right. Now's your chance. On it. Yeah. So see that doesn't work. It has to they have to die from actually hitting the shield shot. So I'll have to tailor my attack um, for that. Let me go ahead and oh also, my bad. I should be equipping the new gear too. There we go. Yep. Alright. So where do we want to go? That's two. This is one. I want to head toward this way. Alright. I can already see the birds. I don't like the look of so this. first things first is to right apply the plant. Because hey. the plant's going to get us out of trouble. Oh. There you are. Didn't even realize that that one was still there. Oh, done now. Okay, so that's the bell free. I don't see anything that would exactly be afraid of in this location. And so, of course, this one gives some more areas that we could possibly go after. As I said, I don't think we're going to do that right now. And what's cool is when you come out of the Belfry, you start at whatever direction you selected or you last looked. So I was able to easily tell that these are all here. So the next spot that we'll go to down this way all right fortunately this means that I have managed to win the ire of all of the birds but I think they're done taking out birds is easy if you have them at a distance Things get bad though if you, of course, if they're up close. Alright, this one. Got these. I see another horde of zombies down there, which is great actually. That's gonna play to our advantage. Alright, you know which spell to use, correct? I have no blooming idea what that thing is. Oh, okay. Now I know what it is. It's basically an evolved bogger. Does that make things a little easier? All right. More than a little. Oh. Wow! Look at them all. Then a match for the mighty Freyder, surely. So. Back off. It's very important that I manage to get them to hit the shield. Look out! Alright. Again, I have to make sure they hit the shield and then that they're beaten by the shield.
And I gotta make sure, of course, they don't manage to do too much damage to me. Because I can't afford to die from them. Alright. Done, I guess. You almost sound disappointed. Who, me? Hell no. That was plenty. This should come in handy. All right. Oh. I'm just going to go ahead and use the healing item. No monsters here, huh? Are you hoping for a little exercise? <laughs> you really don't know me. So we do have a monument over this way. So, this one's a little complicated. I don't really feel like using this on a time trial is probably best, but I don't know. What the hell is this? Let's see what I'm this one is. I'm not entirely sure. Careful now. I remember this one. deal with the fact that he's going to have uh, helpers. We got this. Uh. All right. That went well. You bet it did. That asshole's going nowhere. Ready for this? better to use the surge magic at that point. I don't know if this will count though. Okay, yeah, so I'm like a hair, and I mean a hair below um, the last one. I could retry it Are just with my current magic. Go? Guess so. It may even be faster right, for me to goes. actually do it. <sighs> yeah, maybe faster to do it this way. This that went well. You bet it did. That asshole's going nowhere. That kind of magic requires more range. Kind of guessed that already. All right. This'll do it. Nope, not working. Get out of the way. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Ooh, crap. I'm out of, uh... Oh, Ow. come on. Come on. Ugh. Alright. Take a load off. Ready? Here I come. I'm impressed. There we go. Had a feeling that was gonna go my way. 
Here's to many more like it. Bam. So that's a full completion on that. Didn't get any spellcraft challenge stuff done, but hey, is what it is. Um, we didn't really go into it thinking we were going to. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to go next. In my opinion, we can always go in that direction later. I'm going to kind of keep plowing toward getting us out of this area. So let's go ahead. Um, let's go a little bit deeper into the map. Let's carve our way this way. Because as I said, if I if I stop to do every single thing, we'll never ever get anything done on that. Like in terms of getting the Tanta Sila. So let's go up here first, since it's really not difficult to climb our way up this this mountain side. Uh, let me see here. Trying to get a spot. I need to go this way first. So again, you can't climb up a face with no holes, right? So you gotta find one that actually allows you to make good progress. Oh, look, mana. Okay. Let me see what's the most efficient way. Oh, uh, most efficient way is actually to bring that section up and then bring this part. So. Done. Let's see. What do we got here? All right, we're done there. Be ready to protect yourself. I will, with you. That's it. We got this. Well, do something. Okay. Seems we're free of any immediate danger. We're done here. I was hoping it stays that way. Oh, these are um the Mylodon things. The, they're monitor lizards. Let me see if I can get enough of them mad. If I can get enough of them mad. Then I can get them set up. Dang it! They just did not want to behave. So, it's fine. They would have been three enemies for, um, for our Genesis level one spellcraft challenge, but it is what it is. Since they really didn't want to behave properly, we'll just put them out of their misery. Let me go over here to two really quickly. Head this way.
Let's start hitting down. So next, we'll go here and here. And we may also hit the ruins as well. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was where it was. All right. So these are where our markers are. Again, the amount of mana, just insane. I mean, I'm not even having to really do anything to get mana. Okay. Now, I do not have enough loaded up yet to really be able to take advantage of surge magic. So here's what I'm going to do. This section right here, I want to... Put a tiny marker here and then we're gonna go and fight a different set of enemies somewhere don't know where just yet but we're gonna find some and then uh, we'll come back so I think I can use these enemies right here as a perfect practice set So the whole point of this really yeah. is to be able to get our is. surge magic up to full. Let me ask. Looks like we're done here. It so that does, was the whole purpose it? of that exchange. Now let's go back toward huh? one. And before we do this fight, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to save it here. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Alright, this is War on Gaming. Peace.